Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my fish tank, um, show you the plants that I have in there. If you watched my latest video, you would have seen me set the tank up and now I'm going to be showing you the plants that I have put inside. So let's have a look. Okay, so first off, I have put the tank on our old coffee table. This is the big fish tank that I got off Trade Me. It was only $50. Um, it actually has a slanted front, which actually is quite good for viewing the plants. Um, and I have my sun bulb grow light just hanging above the tank um, because there is a window here and a window over here, but it's sort of in between them and it doesn't get enough light to test to sustain these plants so I've used my grow light for the tank now. It is currently 18 and a half degrees and 99% humidity so it's nice and humid in there. Um, if you had watched my setup video you would have seen that I put a layer of um, propagation sand in the bottom. That is just to keep the pots off the base of the glass in case there's any excess water the roots aren't going to be sitting in the water. Um, and it actually adds a nice sort of aesthetic layer to the base of the tank, I think. Um, this guy, this is my Clarinervium, he is out here in quarantine because I found thrips on him. So I've repotted it and he is just chilling here until I am happy that the thrips have gone. So it's really, really sad. You can kind of see... Some of the damage there on that new leaf. I hate them. So hopefully it hasn't affected any other plants in here. He did live here. So he will go back in there. Um, yeah. I'll show you these plants out here. So I have my big boy Syngonia macrophyllum out here. Um, a little Stanleyana and a Edinsonii in the back, which is climbing up the wall. And I just have my Hartley philodendron and another Adansonii on the floor there. So that's sort of what's outside the tank. Now let's have a look what's inside the tank. So it actually has these three removable um, lids on the top. So I'll take those off. Okay, we'll start off with this plant here. So this is my Monstera Adansonii round form. This is its latest leaf and it is huge. It is so pretty. It's one of my favorites. Um, I absolutely love this guy. And if I move the leaves away, you can see it's massive aerial roots that have started to grow since being in the tank. So I think he's pretty happy in there. <laughs> Uh, my next plant here is my philodendron pink princess and if you can see there its new leaf is about to come out and it is finally actually coming out with any struggle. So if you can see the, um, the petioles on these two here, um, they're a bit damaged and that was because I helped the new leaves to come out because they were getting stuck and bent and almost snapping so I help those out but this one I don't think I have to so that is good. I'm also really loving the variegation um, on this plant since being under the, the grow light so it's nice and pink and nice and vivid which I really really like. Down in this corner here is my Anthurium crystallinum, um, one of the pups I've separated from my my mother plant, that is the new leaf there. So he is chilling in there. Next to that I have my Syngodium chiapense, or chiapense, however you say it. Beautiful matte leaves. And there is a new leaf right here, which is starting to unfill, so that's exciting. Um, down the front there I have my other little Anthurium crystallinum. Um, we are thinking this might be a cross with the Magnificum, we are not too sure, um, so that's pretty exciting. 
Next to that I have my beautiful Monstera Standliana Variegata. Um, it has a new leaf coming in which looks pretty pretty white so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, but hopefully it'll like the tank in here. And then my prized possession is my beautiful Viricosum. I absolutely love this plant. I am so obsessed with its red leaves, its fuzzy petioles, um, its beautiful velvety heart-shaped leaves. It is just an absolute favourite of mine. And if I can move this leaf, you can see it's starting to attach to the pole already, which is really exciting. Um, and it's also put off a random second offshoot, which has a new little leaf, which is unfurling. Um, and down in here, there's another little node, which I put some cloning paste on, um, and it started to sprout as well. So hopefully I can get a nice, full, bushy plant, because I mean, who wouldn't want to be looking at a full plant of this gorgeous, gorgeousness? Oh, I just love it. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much the plants that I have in my fish tank currently. And as I said, Mr. Clarinervium will go back in here at some stage, but until he is fully pest free, he won't be going anywhere near these babies. Hey guys, so in true crazy plant lady style, of course I had to add some more plants to the tank until it was chocker. Um, so I thought I would just show you the ones that I have added in here. So I have added a Neon Pothos um, under this leaf down here. I've added my little baby Sodoroi and over there is a little cutting that I've taken off my Vericosum. Um, that was the little offshoot so I actually cut that off and I'm rooting that. So yeah, I've just added two more plants and my little Sodoroi and this beautiful neon pothos oh and I have also put um, the clarinervium back in there so he is pest free from what I can see now so yeah that is the new updated <laughs> tank tour um, and also this new leaf is looking beautiful but I accidentally knocked one of the lids off and um, put that nice split in it so yeah that's fun so yeah let me know what you guys think of the setup down in the comments below I'd love to hear your opinions um, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I will be spamming the out of you with this beautifulness um, and also tag me in your photos if you have any of your plants in a fish tank let me see your setup I love looking at people's setups and how they've um, displayed their plants it's very very exciting so yeah hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye gone are the days of the little LED ring lights get yourself a high quality sun bowl grow light um, I actually don't have any makeup on so don't look too close <laughs>